Hello, Scorpios. So this is going to be your weekly reading. Um, I'm going to first start it with the tarot. Let's see. Universe, what's the current energy between Scorpios and the person that's on Scorpio mind for October the 10th to the 17th, 2021? Two of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you guys are not really sure of what's going to happen next. Our what's the future like you're not like basically a sh like sure of this person okay someone that you're dating universe the person that's on scorpio mind what would like to say to scorpio for october the 10th to the 17th seven of pentacles okay so some of you guys are losing interest in somebody Okay, or you're just not too sure. But what they'd like to say to you is the Seven of Pentacles, which is about investing. I feel like this person still want to date you, still want to connect with you. Universe of person that's on. Universe of person that's on. Scorpio mind. Why are they keeping hidden from Scorpio? King of Pentacles. So what they keeping hidden. Okay, probably, okay, this is not going to apply to a lot of Scorpios, but probably this person is cheap. And you're like, okay, this person is cheap, especially for the um, feminine Scorpio. You may say, like, okay, if this person is cheap and kind of stingy. Like, what else are they going to be stingy about, okay, with their time and stuff like that? So, like, you guys are not really feeling them like that no more. Um, universe, the person that's on Scorpio mind, how do we feel about Scorpio? Hyphen universe. Okay, so they would still like for this to keep going, but they feel like you, again, like you're losing interest, okay? Like you are going to break free from them. Universe, the person that's on Scorpio mind, what is their true feelings for Scorpio? Three of Cups. Yeah, they still want to date you, but probably like they want to invest in this connection. However, it's like they're weird about it. Like they want to invest, but not really give you that commitment, okay? Universe, the person that's on Scorpio mind. What intentions do they have with Scorpio? Tower and the Knight of Cups. So th this person want to do things based on their own time when they feel the timing is right. Okay. So this person could be very slow. Could be a Virgo here. Very slow how they move. Universe, the person that's on Scorpio mind. What actions would they take with Scorpio? Okay. So there is the Justice, Knight of Swords, Three of Wands. <laughs> five of pentacles wow okay because of how they're moving you lost interest in this person now this person is regretting of like how they was treating you or what they said okay however they're still waiting to see if you are going to want them okay but i feel like a lot of you guys are losing interest or you already lost interest okay this person wants to do things on their own time okay i feel like they do see your word they see your value but it's more like I'm not ready for a commitment just yet. I'm going to see if Scorpio going to wait for me. <laughs> like that type of energy, okay? Um, so I feel like a lot of you guys just are not interested in that. So the sign. This person could be another Scorpio. Um, there's a lot of Earth here. So it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, particularly a Virgo. There's Libra here. There's Taurus here, okay? So let's see what else. universe okay so there it's slave here goddess storyteller yeah i feel like a lot of guys know of yourself you know of your worth and you're not gonna you're not gonna accept this um behavior universe give me one more card damsel and teacher yeah you're gonna teach them a lesson okay you're going to teach them a lesson like you're not the one. <laughs> so I see you guys going to be moving forward with somebody else. That's what I'm seeing, like someone who actually deserves you. And that's going to be their lesson. <laughs> they're they're going to see that you're happy and love, you know, with somebody who's treating you well. So let's look at the other deck. 
So I might name it, you're teaching them a lesson. So let's see here. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. So there is romantic feelings. Okay, wow, you deserve love in reverse. Universe, give me two my cards. Honeymoon. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be in your Scorpio Savage energy. <laughs> okay. You're going to be in... The, I feel like you're just moving forward onto the next. And you dealing with someone who actually deserve you. Okay. So how, like, how this person treated you, it was like your confirmation to move on with the next person. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread and present. Universe, give me three my cards. Okay, wealthy man, a change, yep. And poverty, yes. Okay, so high honor, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, it's like you just not, not entertaining them because they're not ready to give you what you deserve. You're going to be entertaining or dealing with somebody who's ready, okay? Um... And I feel like this person is going to try to reach out when you is with the other person. <laughs> so that's the lesson that's going to be taught to them. It's like this person think they, they like you're going to wait for them because you had liked them before or you loved them before. But that's not the case. So this is they need to be more more real with themselves, basically. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like the wealthy man could be a nut, um, our sign, a Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay. This person could be a different background than you, different race. Okay. Different type. Okay. But I see you liking this person. Now, the only thing that you probably um, is going to compare this person is like when it comes to intimacy, you may feel like the passion is not that deep or that intense. Okay. But I feel like you're going to be attracted to them. They, they're obviously attracted to you. So let's look at the other deck. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. So there is strength. Then there is reminder. Yeah, I feel like this is just you reminding yourself that you are that B, that you are that, <laughs> you, that you, you are that queen, you are that king, basically. And high priestess of earth, okay, queen of pentacles, strength, you walking away. You're risking me one more card. Individuality, probably this person was trying to change you. Jenna energy is chaos. I feel like it's more of you drifting away from this person and choosing you, self-worth. So let's look at the island time. Okay, universe, give me a three card spread. So there is cassette, karmic relationship, addiction, and palm tree. Yeah, so I feel like this person gonna be missing you. <laughs> and you're just gonna be moving forward. Okay, yeah, so time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, having fun. Okay, and then there is cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, playing events over your head, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, less things, letting go, and loving you, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, cuts of block, and restraint, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So, let's see here. So, universe, give me a four card spread. Trap and fear. Material and spiritual prosperity. Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity begins and recognition reward for wants to your firm foundation. Yeah, you're going to be with someone else. And this is going to be them because they're going to look stupid. Okay. <laughs> you're going to get exactly what you want. Okay. Someone who deserves you. So. Let's see here. Okay. 
Universe, give me a five card spread. Okay, so work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give you a moon. I feel like this is with love, wanting, like wanting, like whatever you want. I feel like wants you back. Um, and what I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be this person that you're letting go of. It's someone else. Okay, you know that. And a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty, and everything is smooth sailing in the flow. Janet energy is bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. I feel yeah, you you're moving on. You're teaching them a lesson, but you're moving on like with pure intentions with yourself. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the angel answers. Universe, give me a four card spread. Big happy changes. Yeah. So I feel like whatever you want, want you back again. Um, it's probably someone else. Okay. Because the other person just want to waste time. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. Not the right time. Yeah. This person thinking it's not the right time. But at the same time, it's like they don't want you to move forward. <laughs> okay. And within the next few weeks, I feel like you're going to be meeting that other person. So let's look at the oracles. Right, so universe, give me a four card spread. A lot of cards are gonna come through. So there is don't spend too much time in consultation, fortune, favors, action. This is you guys. You're not gonna be waiting for this person, magician. You're gonna be manifesting. Trust your intuition. You're gonna be using your intuition to connect with the right person and then i got the ace of cups brand new beginnings jenna energy is clear vision you're right yep you know that this person is going to just keep wasting your time so it's like you guys are going to cut your losses and just move forward and i feel like you are going to be connecting with someone who's wanting the same thing that you want okay that's what i'm getting okay so that's it's like being clear it's like being cut cutthroat cut and not kind of dry but cutthroat and being clear and you realize this person is just not ready and i feel like you guys are not gonna like um wait for this person to get ready because you may feel like it's just not gonna happen okay so that's the messages that i have for you scorpios thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal read with me at queen for the tarot at gmail.com